Reporters, tonight we brought you the shocking numbers earlier this week. Hate crimes are now on the rise. 370 incidents in New Jersey just last year alone. That's according to the Anti-Defamation League. But now those of the Jewish faith are trying to do something just to reverse this disturbing trend. New South New Jersey's Chris Keating is in Mercer County to explain. Chris? Brittany, as you said, these numbers aren't just high, they're at an all-time high and climbing. Last year, well, we experienced over 2,700 incidents of hate against Jewish people all around the country. But now, right here in Mercer County, there is an effort to reverse that trend through education and understanding. The data from the Anti-Defamation League cites 88 assaults on individuals. Then there are the hundreds of acts of vandalism and harassment. Plus, attacks at synagogues and Jewish community centers are up 61% in 2021. We asked Mark Merkowitz, director of the Jewish Federation of Princeton Mercer Bucks, what the rising numbers mean to him. Unfortunately, not a surprise. We've seen this trend for a decade. Merkowitz says those of the Jewish faith make up 2% of the American population, yet are the victims of 60% of all religious hate crimes. One of those incidents just happened at Rutgers University at a Jewish fraternity. It happened while marking Yom HaShoah, a ceremony to honor those lost in the Holocaust. And they had eggs pelted on their building while there were names of Holocaust survivors. So the Jewish Federation wants to start a conversation in Mercer County where incidents are up 93%. They're doing it with billboards like this one that says, can a billboard end anti-Semitism? No, but you're not a billboard. Another says, here's an idea. Let's ask everyone who's wondering if Jew hate is real to wear a yarmulke for a week and report back. The media campaign is about creating awareness of what it's like to live as a Jewish person in Mercer County with the hope of finding some understanding and acceptance. When we need to educate, we need to have the conversation, and on the other hand, we have to let our, especially our kids, feel good about being Jewish, not run away from being Jewish. Merkowitz says the goal is also to promote pride among those who are Jewish. He reminds that May is Jewish Heritage Month, and right around the corner from where I'm standing in downtown Princeton, there will be a celebration on May 15th. He says all are invited. In Princeton tonight, I'm Chris Keating, News 12 New Jersey. Such an important message. Chris, thank you.